Hello to all my friends out there and welcome to the Rhoda Stone Show. So tonight I made some spaghetti and I was going to use my dented cans and everything started going wrong. So fortunately I, I made I made first made my um, take along cake and I used half a can of, of, of fruit cocktail I had in the uh, food storage because I didn't like the looks of my um, dented can of fruit cocktail and then I thought I have tons of tons of spaghetti sauce in the stockpile just save the dented can for an emergency so then you know it was one of those uh, those um, videos and it it just wasn't really flowing, but that's okay because the food turned out good and the content is good. So I have a little chamomile tea and I will try to demonstrate my uh, teapot. Uh, somebody asked me if these were real uh, marble. Um, possibly. Uh, you know, I had marble slabs, nice ones. And, and I have two of these. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, they don't really feel like my real marble slabs did, so I'm not 100%. But, you know, they'll do until I locate some uh, party stuff, tea party stuff. If you do manage to get yourself tea party stuff, do not get rid of it. Because uh, it's really not that, I don't know more people are in it into it or not uh, these are my little uh, creamer and sugar and, and you know even those are pretty um, I don't know what you want to call it these are not high quality uh, items not this is a cute little teacup Japanese uh, what I like about it is it's very indestructible So um, how the tea party thing started was one night I went to the, the library and uh, I saw somebody on Instagram had a tea party. I go, wow, that, that looks good. And I gave my son one, a little tea party, and he liked it. He said he did like it at the time, but later on he says he doesn't really like it. So... Most of my tea parties are solo. <laughs> it's funny. So, okay, the first thing I wanted to make was some spaghetti. So I made some uh, chicken meatballs, big ones. You know, um, like when you go out for dinner, for a spaghetti dinner, the meatballs are huge. Usually you get one or two. So um, I, I had some... Um, chicken breasts and I thought why should I uh, buy anything I want to use the food up in my freezer so let me show you my uh, spaghetti sauce this looks pretty good the trick is get good uh, get a good meatball recipe and some time ago I tried to switch to a uh, whole wheat pasta So um, this is this is a dirt cheap meal. Probably, I mean, there's like no cheaper meal than spaghetti, really. So uh, the good thing about it is, if if you wisely make enough, you can have it for two nights, or you can freeze it and have it. So this is my uh, whole wheat pasta. Uh, still, I only paid a dollar. So, how I made the... Ooh, these meatballs. I just have one. These are big. Okay, how I did the meatballs. Let me give you a close-up of my delicious-looking meatball. This good-looking look meatball. I got my super delicious meatball recipe. Let me give it to you. 
Uh, I, I, I posted this meatball uh, recipe on my Twitter, but I like to um, post all of the meatball, all the recipes on the actual video. Um, in times to come, you cannot find my uh, videos. I can't even find them myself. Oh, let me show you the cover. Here's the awesome chef. If you get a chance. Um, a lot of these recipes are his family recipes. Uh, also, uh, I love Jack Nicholson. All the best movies ever. And I didn't make the spaghetti sauce. You know, I couldn't be that, that Italian. <laughs> And what I did is, um, I, um, one of the customers, no, one of the followers mentioned she gets the, um, the vegetable, um, pasta sauce, which is yummy. So take a look at this. And then, um, I, I bought some, um, I bought some of this um, grated Parmesan cheese for a dollar, and I keep it in the um, freezer. So I'll put some cheese. So okay, that is a that is one chicken breast that I bought marked out. So you get the idea. This is a cheap spaghetti. Um, I'm thinking these. Ooh, yummy. Uh, I made my own meatballs. The only thing I didn't do is I didn't put, um, I didn't put cheese in my uh, meatballs. Chicken meat meatballs are delicious. You could use turkey burger, you could use hamburger, you could uh, grind your own roast beef. Okay, so I have been wanting to do this recipe for a while and I finally got along around to it. This is one of my best cake recipes ever. Take a long cake. Of course I had to lose the place. Uh, why I like it is because you can use your fruit cocktail. Okay, now, uh, one number 303 can of fruit cocktail is, is um, two cups. So what I did is I made one half cup, a one half recipe, so I used one, one cup. So one cup is one half of this can so I still have a lot left when I buy fruit cocktail for the um, stockpile I try to get the biggest big ones so let me give you um, a close-up all right now let me cut a piece and show you okay the really really good thing about this um, cake is it's everything in the stockpile um, most of my followers who've been following me for a long time have everything they need, need to make this cake. This is an old-fashioned recipe. A lot of you probably had it before. But, you know, all, everybody's recipe for this cake is a little bit different. And uh, the good thing about this cake is it's going to be even better tomorrow. It's going to be plenty good right now, too, though. Look at this. I will taste it, and I will tell you. It's really delicious. It's kind of like a... Um, Trace leche cake. 
it would be a perfect cake for a party. This would be a perfect, uh, a perfect uh, meal for like a, a party. Um, another thing you could do would you could um, do a meal plan, and we used to have spaghetti every Monday. So okay, you guys. God bless you all.